This will be a very simple lesson where I will go over what are animations, how to add them, I will show you the animation pane, how to read it, how to change the duration, the delay, what options do we have when it comes to animation so you will understand the topic more and know how to animate a few objects on your slide. This will be PowerPoint Animation 101. For those who do video editing it shouldn't be any problem, but for people who never used really animations and only designed slides and hit F5 and played them, this may be valuable information. The first thing I want to teach you and show you is the animation pane. The animation pane is our timeline. Normally in video editing programs we most likely have our timeline on the bottom side and it goes from left to right. Here we have it on the right side. If you really like you can pop out this window, you can resize that, but I usually stay with it on the right side, it's more convenient. And ok, I'll click on the first object and in this slide I would like all those animations to happen automatically. I want this to fade in, this to maybe fly in and this also to fade in. Automatically, without me clicking anything. At first you need to click on each object and select any animation for it. You can select the next object and for example select wipe or I wanted it to fly in but it doesn't really matter and the text box we can also fade it in. If you need more animations you can click here and apart from those normal animations you have more entrance effects. Here we have all the animations PowerPoint has to offer. It's not much, they are not advanced but you know, they get the job done. Now let's head over to the animation pane. With those numbers 1, 2 and 3, I know that all three objects have animations. 1, 2 and 3 gives me information that they will appear after I click my mouse. So I'll press F5, 1, 2, 3, but I wanted them to appear automatically. In order to change that, you can click on each animation, you can right click and you have those three options. And I will explain them to you, but really you need to open up PowerPoint, you need to add some elements and you need to play around with this. You have on click, with previous and after previous. If I select the second animation and select after previous, it will not start unless the previous animation is finished. So as you can see, until I click my mouse, nothing will happen. I click my mouse and finally the second animation can play as well because the first animation has already happened. And you can see the graphical representation of that here. We have this little stopwatch. But I usually, instead of going after previous, select start with previous and just delay the animation. This gives me more freedom because I have the same thing happening here. I just have more freedom by using the delay. As you can see, each animation has its duration and its delay. We can play around here, but you can also click here and try to make it longer like that. You can select it and move it left and right. On the very bottom side, you see the time, but that's also not convenient. I'm not sure that the animation is exactly two seconds long now. They could for example put the timeline here or some stamps so we better see the time. But I'll not go into that. I just want to work with animations. So this animation is too long and you can see it's not convenient to click on those animations here. That's why you usually use the duration here and the delay exactly here. So if you want those three animations to happen automatically I will with my shift key select all of them, I'll right click and I'll select with previous. The first animation is also with previous so it starts automatically. And now if I select F5 you can see all three animations happen simultaneously. Well if you would like to adjust them to let's say the first one, the second one and the third one will happen after each other, you would just need to select this animation delay the second one, take this animation, delay it once again, press F5 and now they are a tiny bit delayed. And this is exactly how you make animations on your slide. The simplest way to do animations, you can for example go, I, will, I selected the second slide now, you can select everything, 
you can click on an animation and you already have animations applied. Now you can have fun here and for example select on click. This will be with previous, that's okay, but a bit delayed. If I want to quickly preview, I don't need to hit F5 and Shift F5. I can click here and I can select play from. First one, the second one, and as time passes, the third one, because I delayed it by three seconds. <laughs> this one happens a bit later because I delayed it. These are the basics about animation and I know that many people already know how to perfectly use animations but if you struggle with animations we will go slowly about that. I will show maybe a few more examples when I animate on slides and show you real world usage. So this is it for this lesson, I hope you've enjoyed it and you learned something new as always.